Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi step inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 6 minus 4 times 6n plus 7, and that's greater than or equal to 122. <clears throat> well, in this one here, I'm going to subtract a 6 to both sides. That leaves me with a negative 4 times 6n plus 7 is greater than or equal to 122 minus 6 is 116, not 106, 116, Sean. 116, okay? 116. Then, instead of distributing the negative 4, I'm just going to divide by negative 4 to both sides. That leaves me with some, what's in the parentheses left, 6n plus 7 is, uh, well, it had a greater than sign, right? We divide it by a negative over the inequality, so it needs to flip from a greater than or equal to sign to a less than or equal to sign. Remember that. Now it's 116 divided by negative 4. Oh, I'm not going to try to do that in my head. 116 divided by 4, or negative 4, is a negative 29. Okay? Uh, positive divided by negative is a negative. So then I need to subtract a 7 on both sides. Subtracting a 7 on both sides gives me 6n by itself is less than or equal to negative 29 minus 7 is a negative 36. I then can divide by 6 to both sides, leaving me with n by itself, and is less than or equal to negative 36 divided by 6 is a uh, negative 6, not positive 6, 6, right? So there we have it. We have n is less than or equal to negative 6. So now I need to graph that. Okay, so I'm going to graph it right here. Um, let's go by 2. Is that our number line? So let's go for the z 0 right here. 0, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10, negative 12, and positive 2 here. So if n is less than or equal to negative 6, I have a closed circle at negative 6, and I need to shade to the left, shade to the left there, right? Because we said n is less than that negative 6. So now our graph matches our final answer, which is n is less than or equal to a negative 6. So let's recap. I subtracted, or I had 6 minus 4, parentheses, 6n plus 7, I in parentheses, is greater than or equal to 122. Subtracted 6 to both sides, leaving me the negative 4. Uh, times 6n plus 7 parentheses is greater than or equal to 116. I then divide it by negative 4 to both sides because it's opposite of the multiplication that's going on there, leaving me with a 6n plus 7, which is inside the parentheses on the left, and then on the right, a negative 29, because 116 divided by negative 4 was a negative 29. But I flip my inequality because I divided by a negative over that inequality. I then subtracted 7 to both sides, giving me a negative 36 on the, on the right, and then divided by 6 to both sides, giving me n. Uh, by itself on the left is less than or equal to uh, negative 36 divided by 6 is a negative 6, not positive 6, negative 6, okay? And uh, because a negative divided by positive is a negative, okay? So we had n isolated, and so um, it was less than or equal to negative 6. I had to graph it. We have a closed circle because it's equal to negative 6, and we shaded to the left to put our arrow to the left because we said n is less than 6. And so now this graph matches our final answer, which is n is less than or equal to a negative 6.